the answer to this one links back to what I was saying about academic learning time, because what teachers should be reflecting on is how much did my students learn? And intuitively, a teacher usually coming out of a lesson, a teacher will think about um, how did I feel? You know, was that a good lesson? Do I feel good about that? Do I feel bad about that? Um, and this can sometimes be misleading. I'd like to illustrate that by a story from my own experience when I was not too experienced a teacher, maybe five, six years into my teaching career, and I came out of a lesson which was very, very noisy, or it felt to me very noisy and undisciplined and almost in tears, um, and thinking, oh, that was a complete failure. But I had the sense to go and ask one of the students afterwards, how was that lesson? It was awful, wasn't it? And she said, what are you talking about? She said, I learned such a lot. Okay, there was a bit of noise but not that much, and we were really learning. And, and that made me stop and think what is important in teaching. And what is important is not how I, the teacher, feel, because my subjective judgment may often be um, very misleading, but how much did the students learn? Mm -hmm.